Well, everybody, Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. Today, we're going to be talking about the journey to $30 silver. That's right, we're getting close right now. As of the making of this video, it's actually 4 11 2024, but 4 12 2024 is when you're going to be able to watch this video and uh, at the very you know earliest. And if you try to say you know where silver's going, you're just a phony. There's no way to know unless you are the manipulator yourself. And uh, you know, if you are, just go ahead and comment down below. Let us all know where silver is going today and tomorrow. But Shoot, by the time this video comes out, silver could surpass $30. Um, it could end up plummeting. You just never know with this stuff. But what I do believe is going to be in this video and how the journey will probably take place. So right now we're at this 28 or so dollar mark, right? That's where we kind of are right now. Kind of teetering around there. I'm actually surprised it's held on as long as it has around that level. But it's a great thing. That resistance level of 28 is very important because soon after that comes that magic 30. And what has happened to gold recently is that magic 2000 number got broken, right? We broke past the 2000 and then the 2100 mark, another another resistance level, right? We can't we can't break 2100 gold. There's no way. Boom, shattered that resistance level. And gold continues to rise and it's uh rising in some days it's rising, you know, 40 50 dollars in a day. It's a great, great up on the gold. And many of us have believed for some time that gold should have been doing that already. Uh, and it's no different than silver. Silver should have had its day many years ago. Um, and definitely over the last few years, for sure, gold and silver should have really been rising more than they are already. Why is that? Because we are printing money at like record rates and we are giving it away. To other countries, to causes that nobody really believes in. Uh, you know, it's just, it's wild how much we print the money and we just dilute our overall um, value in our country here in the United States. And all countries are suffering right now, really. Uh, they're same thing. Some countries are going back to a, a gold backed currency because their money means nothing. They got to have something that is valuable um, and kind of has a tie to their money. And so they're using that gold, that historical gold-backed currency. Uh, maybe the United States will go back to it. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Um, I think it should. But listen, we're just going to talk about what I think is going to be the next step for silver. So I think that we will hit this $30 mark sooner than later. I don't know when that's going to be. As you can see by the question marks, there's no way to know. But I think that once it does end up hitting this, this magical $30 mark, there's going to be a kickback for sure. The, the price of silver will end up coming down. And why is that? Um, you know, a lot of people believe that it should be more expensive than it is. Everything's been doubling in price, tripling in price in our economy, um, except for silver and gold, which is weird, right? But many people, many, many, many people are wanting that $30 number. And that's their magic number to get out of the game. They uh, Maybe they are long-term holders. Maybe they've been in there for many years, but they are ready to get out of the silver game. It's been too long for them. Uh, they stopped believing long ago. They just want to get out, get their money, uh, end up in some kind of retirement situation. Whatever the case may be, $30 is many people's magic number. So when it hits that, expect there to be a flood of sellers uh, just getting rid of all the physical they have. And if they are paper holders of, of um, silver, they, they're probably going to ditch their paper around that level too. But just so you know, although I will say that the price of SLV, the paper silver market and physical has definitely separated itself a little bit at this point. But I think that once you see 30, you're going to see an instant decline because it's going to be saturated with sellers in the market trying to, you know, get as much as they can around that level. And so, but once, once this happens, once this big sell off, I'm going to sell off. Once that sell-off occurs, you're going to see a quick jump. And it's going to be so, so quick back to the $30 level that people aren't going to be able to, you know, recover if they were a seller. Because they're going to want to, right? There's going to be a, a portion of these sell-offers that are going to be wanting to get back into the game. But it's going to be too late because now they're going to be, 
stuck between a, uh, you know, uh, should I get back in? Nah, I'm not going to waste my time, right? And that's going to be around this level, around the three or $30.50 to $31 range. They're going to be like, huh, shoot. And then what's going to happen is silver is going to continue taking off. It might not be a straight up arrow like I'm pointing to here. There, I'm sure there's always ups and downs in the market, but I think that silver will continue an upward trend past $30 very quickly after this this sell-off event that happens where it does come down under 30 once it hits 30. So at this point, let's just, let's use a magic number. Let's just use a, a $35 number, right? Let's say it does hit that. Now these people that were in that sell-off event, they're going to be like, shoot, okay, hold on. I got to come back in. I got to still have a piece of this pie. I can't, yeah, that's, that's too good. They're going to want to come back in now at this level. And uh, more people than ever now, once silver breaks past this $30 mark and it kind of holds for a day or two or whatever, um, people are going to be jumping on. You're going to hear everybody talking about silver. I mean, like you're going to have people out of the woodworks coming to you if they know that you are a silver holder. They're going to be asking you questions. Hey, is, is it a good idea to buy this stuff? And, you know, you're going to have that in your head going, man, I don't know. It's $35 now. We haven't seen this for years, you know. And last time we saw a 35 um, you know, it came back down pretty quickly. And it was manipulation that really drove it up to those high prices. So you might see it, you know, some some serious questioning right here. But I think it's going to end up coming up even beyond that. You may see uh, within a short period of time, it's very possible you could see a 40 or a $45 silver, which is more accurate to what it is now and what the price should be. It actually should probably be a little bit higher than this, but you know, let's give let's cut them a break. Let's try to let's try to make it more realistic here. Um, everything's been going up in price, and for some reason, precious metals have been just getting hammered down. This stuff has been money in the past. Many people still think it is money, and if there's an emergency situation that happens, it likely will be almost instantaneous. It's going to be money again, and uh, like I said, some countries are using gold backed currencies now. What happens if a country decides to use gold as their currency? Well, you better believe that they're going to also bring back silver as well because they need the change, right? Gold is very expensive and a country that's backing their uh, currency off of gold cannot do without silver and probably uh, some other metal too, some lesser metal like a copper or maybe a bronze. They're going to have to have the combination in order for their you know, currency to really work. So you might see a big uptick in price as more countries start to go to this gold and precious metals backed standard. But I think that once this, this $30 mark hits, and I know this is, looks like some crazy football play right here. Once this $30 mark hits, you're going to see that sell off and you're going to see what I think is going to be a pretty quick uptrend. And it's going to be so fast that um, if you are barely a holder, you're going to be too late. If you are uh, somebody who sold over here and you're thinking about, man, do I, do I get back in? You're going to really regret your decision, I think, over here. Now, listen, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? I'm just a guy. This is my personal belief. But I think that once that, that takeoff happens, it's going to be almost in a blink of an eye. It's going to be very quick. And you're going to be left thinking, man, coulda, shoulda, woulda. So, what do I recommend? <clears throat> Continue building your stack. Um, don't be afraid that you know you throw just a little bit of money here and there every single month, even if the price is slowly creeping up. Uh, like right now, it's been $28-ish. If it starts coming down, if it starts going up a little bit, don't stress. Just throw in what you can afford, right? Um, don't use any more money than just what you can afford. If you got bills, pay those off first. It is what it is. Uh, silver will be there when you're ready. So will gold. But yeah, that's that's my thought, right? Um, somebody asked me the other day, and I'm going to bring this up real briefly. They asked me, hey, what's your percentage in your stack when it comes to certain precious metals? And they were actually talking about junk silver. They said, what's your percentage? And what do you think the percentage of junk silver in your stack should be? And I said, man, I, I really don't stack like that to, to think of a percentage per se. But I do believe that what you should do is you should have a majority of your stack as gold. That should be the highest percentage that you have is gold, in my personal opinion. That holds the most wealth. Um, it's obviously this little piece right here, this little piece of gold is worth more than, 
I mean, most of the stuff on here, this bar right here comes kind of close, this big 100 ounce Engelhard bar. It starts to get kind of close, but a tight little package of gold is very, very valuable. <clears throat> and I think that your, your most of your holdings should be in gold, but that doesn't mean that you should neglect silver at all. You definitely need silver. Think of gold as the, the paper money, right? The, the, the large numbers, um, the $100 bill, if you will. And this stuff right here as your change. If we do go to a situation where um, you are going to need precious metals for your everyday expenses, the big expenses will come with gold and the smaller expenses are gonna always be with this stuff right here your change, right? Your, your silver. So you want a, a healthy mix. Um, I love the idea of having gold as the primary and then a mixture of bullion, bullion coins, um, bars, and definitely junk silver because it does have a fractionality to it. So you can end up getting, you know, your half dollars for maybe uh, some of your groceries. Maybe one of your little loaves of bread can be, you know, one of these or two of these, depending on how bad the situation is. But I think you do want a mix of both. But I would say your largest portion should always be a gold holding. And that's that's just kind of my view. Everybody's going to have a different view. And I told that person that exact same thing. It's everybody stacks differently. That's how I personally stack what I would recommend. But you may recommend completely different. But anyways, that's my thoughts. Tell me what your thoughts are. You think we're ever going to hit $30 silver? Or if it's just all a game, if it's more manipulation happening by Big Brother to get people excited about silver until they knock the price back down, uh, let me know. I mean, shoot, uh, the end of this week could come and then we could be back down at $25 silver. You just never know with this stuff. But I do think that at one point, whenever that day is, whenever this mystery day comes right here, it's going to be in the blink of an eye when this stuff shoots up. And we're all going to be talking about that day when we had the chance to buy at $28. And we came in too late to really, really, you know, make our stack bigger and better. Anyways, <clears throat> that's all I got to say for now. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Hopefully you subscribe to the channel. Spectacular is out. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school, and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit, and I'm going to start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah.